Next on Done in a Week in Extreme Projects, add a shaded gathering space and architectural interest to your backyard with a new pergola. I'm landscape designer Doug Scott. Having partnered with Xmark over the last several years on their hugely popular Done in a Weekend Projects videos, we thought it was time to kick these cost and labor friendly DIY projects up a notch in an effort to help you create the outdoor living spaces and experiences you've always dreamed of. Welcome to the all new Done in a Weekend Extreme Projects series. In addition to creating a comfortable, protected outdoor gathering space, Pergola is also a beautiful addition to your yard really injecting a certain level of architectural interest while complementing your home and your property's other features. In today's Done on Weekend Extreme video, we're thrilled to be joined by Mike Jones of Jones Refinishing, and he's been so gracious to allow us to walk alongside him and his crew as they build a pergola. Mike, it's great to meet you. Thanks so much for letting us be here, buddy. Thanks for having us, Doug. Well, before we get started, can you tell our viewers what project you're working on today? We're uh, building a pergola, 10 foot by 12 foot, 8 foot high. We're actually adding a floor to this pergola okay. due to, to the grade. Okay. Well, that sounds like a great size space for your homeowners to enjoy. Yes. All right, let's get started. All right, Mike, tell us how we get started here. Well, based on placement of the pergola, we showed up with some grade stakes, some mason twine, and we actually squared the base of this thing to get ready to make our post holes. Okay, and squaring it up is pretty critical on a project like this. Yes, step one's not square, it's not gonna be square at okay. the last step. Okay, and you said set the post. Are you already setting them in cement at this point? This initial step, we're gonna set it in the ground. We're gonna square everything up, make sure the tops of our structure are square, and once everything's braced up, we'll pour the seat. Okay, okay, perfect. All right, so before we get any further, let me ask you. Talk to me about the lumber list. What are we using here? Uh, pretty basic lumber list. We're gonna use six by six for the post. Yep. We're gonna use two by sixes for the cross braces yep. and the rafters, and it'll be topped off with some two by twos on top. Okay, so pretty simple. Pretty simple. All right, so you have the posts in the ground, they're squared up, what's next? Well, we use some bracing to hold those posts good and straight for us. We went up top, yep. added some cross beams, went ahead and bolted those in, they're gonna stay So those are, those are permanent bracing? Permanent okay. bracing, and once everything was square at the top, square at the bottom, we poured some cement. And then, so do you have to let that dry? What's the deal there? We gave it about an hour or so to, to start setting, and then in the meantime, we were cutting rafters for the top. All the rafters on the top are notched to fit our bracing. Okay, and then you added those rafters and just kept going, repeating there? We did, we added the rafters across the top and started with our tuba twos to, to finish off the top. All right, Mike, we're back on site, day two. What are we gonna do? We're gonna actually install one last rafter on the pergola. Uh, we were one board short last ah, night. Why's that? Uh, someone miscalculated the lumber list. And who was that? Uh, could have been me. <laughs> so we're gonna add the one last rafter. We're gonna finish off the top of the pergola with the two by twos, and then we're gonna move on to our deck project. Okay, okay, and can you run down what's the lumber needed for your deck? For the deck project, it's two by tens, two by eights, and five quarter decking board. And so once the deck's done, that's when you do that final bracing. That's when we'll do the final okay. bracing. That'll add the final touch. Uh, it actually finishes off the deck and adds structural support. All right, I'm gonna get out of your hair and let you and your crew get to work. Sounds All good. Right, thanks. Wow, Mike, this looks incredible. I know you have a few things to do, but I'm sure that your homeowners are really gonna enjoy this spot. Yeah, that, it turned out good. Uh, the homeowners are pleased, my guys did a great uh, job. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we were able to get in and out of here in a short amount of time, so uh, we're pleased with it. Good, thanks buddy, it's great to meet you. Thanks again, Doug, I'm gonna get back over and help these guys finish up. All right, Appreciate sounds good, it. yeah buddy. Thank you. 
Well, Mike and I and our friends at Xmark really hope that this video has helped you better understand how adding a pergola to your outdoor spaces can really increase the value both functionally and aesthetically. Again, I want to thank Mike and I want to remind you to check us out at xmark.com slash backyard for more done in a week and extreme project ideas. Take care and here's to enjoying life outside.